All right, what's going on, guys? It's your boy Toasty, and today we are back with Final Fantasy Brave Exvius. And as you guys can see right here, we're going to talk about Emperor Shira, uh, what he's good at, and if you guys pulled him, how you can use him. So, uh, he's a 5 star going to 6 stars, obviously. Uh, he's a physical attacker and a little bit of a support character. You guys can see his TM right here, Chosen One, basically increases fire resistance by 20%. Uh, increases the attack by 30 for, uh, 35% when you equip him with a sword and increases attack by 15% and the HP by 10% when he's equipped with light armor. So right here you guys can see you can boost his attack by at least 50% and if you're equipped with all of that. Uh, we're gonna go down right here you guys can see what he's able to equip. Short swords, swords, uh, katana, great swords, bows, all that stuff and the equipment basically shield, hat, elm. Uh, clothes, armor, and accessory, like pretty much all the units. Uh, we're going to talk about his uh, abilities. You guys can see right here, Antrust, so he's able to give, uh, if his limit burst is full, he's able to give it to somebody else, which is really cool, because some units take a lot of crystal to build that limit burst. Uh, Siege of Zuldad, basically, <clears throat> this guy loves fire attack, so if you guys have a fire sword, uh, Crimson Saber, from um, Rain, basically his sword is really good for him. Siege of Zuldad, fire physical damage, 1.9 to all enemies. Increased fire resistance by 40% for 3 turns to all allies. Uh, that's a good move, it's only a 1 hit, 20 MP. So basically you're able to boost up your fire resistance by 40%, which is really good. Uh, also we got Reinforcer, increase LB gauge fill rate by 200% for 3 turns to caster and increase attack by 80% for 3 turns to caster. So right here he's able to boost himself up, get his limit burst up a little bit faster, and also boost his attack. Good thing is right here is if he's able to bring his limit burst up, that means you can entrust that limit burst to somebody else who needs it. So uh, right there you kind of, you're able to help out some other characters if they need their limit burst. Then we got, oof! Anisitating will. Wow. Increase attack, defense, magic, and spirit break resistance by 100% for 3 turns to caster. So right here, if uh, I pretty messed up that word, but it's okay. Uh, right here, basically what happens, uh, for 3 turns, he won't be able to get broken. So there's no way he's going to be broken his attack, defense, magic, and spirit. Which is cool. I, it would have been really cool if it would have been an AoE for your team. But it's still pretty good. Better than nothing, right? First training move. Endens Triton, physical damage 4.8 times to one enemy, it's a 8 hit, so you guys can see right here, if you do wield him with another uh, Shira, you guys can do a little bit more damage, uh, you guys can build up a nice big chain with this dude. Then we got L Shaft, as I'm uh, out of breath talking, L Shaft, fire physical damage 2.3 would ignore 25% uh, to all enemies. Uh, it's an AoE move, so you guys will um, basically, sorry, you're going to be able to inflict Paralyze to your enemies, which uh, doesn't really work against bosses most of the time. Uh, not super strong, but I can see that it could be useful when you're facing multiple enemies, which is not really bad. Then you have uh, Repression, fire physical damage, two times to all enemies. Decrease fire resistance by 50% for three turns to all enemies. This is not bad, actually. Uh, I like the decrease 20-50% to all enemies. So you guys will see how this can work out really good. So uh, we're going to move on to the next one and I'll explain this one right here. We got Schmerzen, Schermzen, whatever, Schermzen. Uh, fire physical damage, 3.2 to one enemy. Add fire element to physical attack for 5 turns to caster, which is really good. So you guys can see right here, you basically decrease... Or you can start with that one. Uh, you add the fire element to your weapon. So let's say you don't have a fire weapon. And you have the Iron Duke. Just add the fire element to the weapon. The next turn you do Repression. Where you break down the... You imperil actually 50% to uh, let's say one enemy. And the third turn you're able to do a little bit more damage with your fire weapon. So that's a cool move. You got Command to Protect. Which is really good that one. Increase defense and spirit by 80% for 3 turns to all allies and increase fire resistance by 70% for 3 turns to all allies. Uh, really strong move. I love the defense and spirit buff. 
obviously the fire resistance is really good if you guys are facing let's say ifrit well right there you can mitigate a lot of damage and you can no he's, uh, he's actually not bad he's actually really good i like that character uh then you got his big chaining move hmm hero birung oh man i don't know what they thought of those names but whatever uh physical damage 4.2 times to one enemy decrease fire resistance by 60 percent for three turns to one enemy so basically he's gonna imperil before he starts the hit so the best thing you can do basically if you don't have a fire weapon put the fire element on your weapon then you do this move right here and you're gonna be doing a lot of damage hopefully as much as orlando can do uh, then we're gonna move on to a straight uh, increase spirit by 20% Empress capacity uh, Resistance to confuse and charm by 100% then he has three killer abilities demon dragon and plant killer That's always good to have blade adept uh, Increase attack by 30% when equipped with a sword auto refresh HP 30% sword mastery He just gets it all increase fire resistance by 50% and increase attack defense by 20% when equipped with light armor. So that's pretty good. He's able to get a lot of bonus uh, to his attack, which is pretty cool, pretty cool. Then we're going to move on to his uh, limit burst. Kaiser Vertidiger. Oh my god, I'm messing up these names so bad, but it's alright. So it's a 20 crystal cost, and it's an 11 it. Sorry. Uh, physical damage when it's maxed out. 4.7 would ignore 50% defense to all enemies and inflict three random status alignments all 40 percent chance to be there to actually um, put the status alignments on your enemies and mitigate damage taken by 30 percent for one turn to all allies so good aoe move to do a lot of damage to the enemies uh, also the mitigation for one turn is better than nothing uh, nonetheless you guys if you get him the way you got to build him is basically the way you're going to build any other chainer. Uh, you're going to build him with his fire weapon, hopefully. Uh, you're going to put a sword on him. Great sword, whatever you need. Katana from, I think, Kamui, uh, which is the 125 katana with fire element on, sorry. Uh, there's no secret. He's basically the same thing that Titus would be, that Orlando would be, Veritas of the Dark. The only thing is he chains with fire. And if you guys got him... Hey, he's still a good unit. In my book, you know what? Every unit will find, uh, you're going to find the need for them eventually. Uh, sometimes we think that units are not that good. And then in three months, we're going to find that there's a trial that, you know what? We're going to need that unit. So, guys, if you like that, uh, if you like this uh, unit review, please leave a like, subscribe for more. And I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.